Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We're going to start, and it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Well, here in Santa Ana, I was training cats and dogs, and it was very difficult to come, but I'm here already, so very good. And um, as usual, we're going to check about the platform. So this is the class of today. Today, we're starting the uh, section number three. And uh, so this is going to be the question for today. So remember to move on with the platform. I was checking and it seems that there is no other problem uh, with, um, with the um, homeworks and things like that. And for today, you should be doing the 3.1 homework. That is going to be just five multi-option questions. So we are going to check about the attendance. So. Ada Susana Cáceres. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Okay. So we are going to start the class. Let me just check. Oh, I have Ada and Francisco here. Let me just check. Very good. Good. Nice. Perfect. So we are going to uh, start a new topic today. So I'm going to show you a video and then you will provide uh, opinions and you will pro provide comments about what you learned or what you heard there in the video. So here we go.
mass layoffs and record profits at the same time, manager salaries, scarcity of natural resources and imminent climate catastrophes, morally questionable advertising, child labor, corporate fraud, financial crisis and the Occupy Wall Street movement. These are just a few examples you may have heard about under the topic of sustainability, business ethics or corporate social responsibility. These themes raise questions about justice for current as well as for future generations. We want to ask Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR for short, what is this? This man made headlines a few years ago. In 2004, Angelo Ugolotti learned from investigators that he was chairman of the board of several companies set up by his employer, the Italian milk concern Parmalat. Angelo, however, had not even heard of those companies. At Parmalat, he was only responsible for the switchboard. You can imagine how the story goes. Corporate fraud at its best. Bogus companies, cooking the books, bribery, accounts in the Cayman Islands, the whole works. The task of corporate social responsibility is to prevent these and other morally reprehensible practices which can weaken society, damage companies and hurt employees. More and more companies have realized the relevance of moral practices in their businesses, even though they have not always sufficiently implemented CSR yet. Concrete preventative measures are often labeled risk management, a term more commonly used for avoiding financial risks and damage to a company's reputation. No one likes bad press, right? Thus, companies define clear rules, so-called compliance or value management systems. For example, you can accept a bottle of wine from the supplier, but you have to pass up a golfing trip to Hawaii. However, risk and compliance management are only one aspect of corporate responsibility correctly understood. Firstly, CSR is not just about preventing bad practices, like corruption and fraud and so on. Secondly, this approach does not question a company's business activities as such. In fact, compliance management could be an efficient control mechanism even in organizations like the Mafia. The more challenging question is, how can companies contribute to a good society through good business practices? Oh, that's easy, they say. We'll create a charity foundation or donate a lot of money and thus do good. Wrong. That won't hurt and may even help, but it's not systemic change. The important thing is, CSR is about how companies make profits, not about how they spend them. Corporate social responsibility must not simply be the repair center of capitalism. It has to demand systemic change in a market economy. This requires a new role for the key players in this game. Companies must become not only economic, but also moral actors. What's required and important is a stronger integrative perspective based on a system of deontological values and which is closely related to the company's core business. This means social and ecological criteria must be taken into consideration. For example, in the treatment of employees, organization of the production process, offered and produced products and services, and responsible business practices of suppliers, the so-called supply chain. By the way, virtuous managers or the honorable merchant alone will not suffice. We need employees of integrity at all levels of the company, but we also need organizational structures and clear rules. But relying on a code of conduct is also short-sighted because in extreme cases, it means act according to some given rules, which is the opposite of ethical reflection, namely actual thinking about good and evil right and wrong. In other words, CSR is always about both individuals and institutional structure. In business ethics, one speaks of individual ethics and institutional ethics. But isn't that unrealistic? Shouldn't the state do more to promote a good and fair society? Granted, it is unrealistic. And that's exactly why such questions are important. Business ethicists don't just ask what the world is like, but also what it should be like, how it ought to be. At the very least, we want to suggest where the journey should lead. 
At the same time, we want to make practical suggestions about how to embark on that journey. One speaks of questions of justification on the one hand and of implementation on the other, preferably in that order. The state, particularly through politics and law, can contribute to the implementation of corporate responsibility, but only within a limited range. If we look at society from a bird's eye view, we can spot different social systems the economic system, the political system, the justice system, for example. One can speak of the functionally differentiated society we live in. About 60 or 70 years ago, some German economist came up with an idea that led to the development of the social market economy as we know it, particularly in Europe. The thought that a market economy should be embedded in a political framework that determines the rules of the game. This underlying idea is still important, but it has become distinctly more difficult to rely on the state alone. Societal differentiation has progressed because most systems have internationalized. Globalization is the magic word that applies to most systems, but not all of them. Politics, and particularly law, tend to be bound to one country's borders, while the economy, above all, is highly internationalized and globalized. This makes effective regulation difficult. Thus, it is now not only about the classic rules of the game, but also about the moves of the players, the corporations, in a changed and changing world. And beyond politics and law, civil society, in particular NGOs, have gained a strong influence on the economy, as both vicious watchdogs and as partners of business. In the society of the 21st century, we find new, rather odd, hybrid constructs under the notion of soft laws. These are collective individual commitments to comply with certain social and ecological standards, such as collective industry agreements or the UN Global Compact. So companies are supposed to operate responsibly. Is anything really happening? There is no clear answer to that question. The cynics say that CSR is like teenage sex. Everybody says they are doing it, but few actually are. And those who really do it, do it rather badly. The truth is more nuanced, of course. In the area of corporate responsibility, there is also the good, the bad, and the really ugly. More and more companies deal with CSR and take the first steps towards responsible business practices. We can definitely observe a distinct effort, even though it is still a delicate little plant. And of course, there are still those who misconstrue CSR as a PR instrument and simply want to greenwash or bluewash their company. And unfortunately, there are still companies that don't give a damn about questions of corporate responsibility and which even trample on justice. Got all that? Let's sum it up. First, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Second, CSR is based on the question of good business for a good society, today and tomorrow. Third, corporate social responsibility is not charity. It is about how companies earn their profits, not how they spend them. Fourth, it takes employees of integrity and appropriate organizational structures to realize CSR. It is a matter of individual and institutional ethics. Fifth, politics continue to play an important role. But in a globalized world, the effects of regulation can be limited. And thus, sixth, companies play an increasingly important role. Seventh, soft laws are new governance mechanisms based on companies' self-commitment. Finally, CSR has arrived in business practice. It is necessary to support these developments professionally, but also to provide critical perspectives with respect to them. Research on issues of corporate responsibility is still beginning, and future developments will be exciting to see. It is unclear whether a good and fair society can be created with the help of companies, but it can't be created without them. Okay, what did you get from this video? Okay, mm, well, my point of view is that CSR is a system uh, that needs to be created or is creating to help 
uh, the employees and the company and the companies too. Because uh, first, uh, like the video says, that uh, they create a one good economy for the society and also help to the companies have a profit. And that's the main reason that the company exists because they want to, to earn more, uh, well, they want to, to earn money. And it's really good also because uh, don't alone, or the, or the CSR doesn't alone, that the companies make some fraud or and even uh, a bad treatment to the employees. So for me, to be honest, uh, I never heard something similar about that, but it's really good. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So yes, it's everything involved, right? So it's, uh, I mean, if we were not ethical and we didn't have any social responsibility, uh, then anybody can do whatever they want, right? So that is not good. So uh, we need to stop things like corruption, right? We need to stop bribery and things like that. So it's very important the way that companies earn money, the profit. And well, it says that not uh, so much on the way they spend, but actually it's also good. I mean, yes, charity is part of it, but it's not the only thing. The way that we do business in general and we connect with the society is very important. So any other comment on this? The video talks, uh, I don't know if you listen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the video was talking about also uh, um, a term was compliance. Okay. In order to uh, make, um, no, to, to have a, a kind of rules, okay, that you have to, um, to accomplish or, or to, how to say this? Yeah, to accomplish. Like uh, not, a net, not a medical frame or not a, uh, a internal normative or something like this. Uh, they were talking about uh, not to uh, getting out of your, uh, maybe your competences and try to do all the activities or, or all the, the things that your company is related to uh, and um, try to uh, figure out how the people uh, inside the company uh, make this work well. In a, in a good way, okay? And also they were talking about uh, CSR, uh, yeah, CSR, um, social responsibility, corporate social responsibility about uh, change that uh, the company has to de demand uh, for uh, the society. Okay, uh, not just making profit about the situation, uh, but also uh, how can my company uh, help the society in order to be a better environment or something like this? Uh, I don't know, I think it's my, my comments about the video. Very good, perfect. So Dia is a, a it's a thing that involves a lot of things, right? And it's for for everybody to have a very good uh, way of being inside of the company, the employees, the employers, and how 
interact with the society. So uh, yeah, there are some norms, some rules. And this, as you can see, is linked to the previous topic that we were discussing that is ethics, because it's about the behavior, the way that you are going to, to, um, to connect, I mean, with providers, with the customers, with um, the society itself, the way that you are going to uh, give to the society i mean because if you are making a lot of profit yeah you can give to the society and also uh, be careful about the behavior that everybody has people with power people with money people that might decide things about the whole thing in the company so are, are very important good any other comments or opinions Okay, so at the end, my friends, what is CSR? Maybe it's the way that the company uh, back to society, uh, good things uh, in order to uh, obviously make the society uh, have a better, environment, maybe a better behavior, maybe uh, relief a situation in, in the, in some uh, town, in some city, or in some uh, area who is maybe in danger. Uh, uh, in, in the government, there is no such thing. Uh, like this, exactly like this, corporate social responsibility. But uh, there is, uh, I am, I am talking about um, the the institution that I working for. Uh, when a situation, when a bad situation, uh, a really really bad situation is uh, happening, uh, especially in the coastal border. Uh, People go to the office and say, hey, we're in danger. We have a situation. Maybe uh, some people have uh, lost their, their goods or their home, their whatever. So uh, we as not, not as institution because uh, we don't, we can't, we can't uh, have a budget to this, but I like um, as an employee, uh, there is a committee. I don't know how to say. Committee. Maybe a group, a committee uh, who is organ, who is which is organized at the moment, and uh, I think the response time is quickly. Oh, I I think quickly um, from white from one day to another. Uh, and we try to um, maybe uh, collect some goods, some uh, food, some uh, maybe some money in order to uh, give to people these uh, things. Uh, I think this is uh, a type of uh, corporate social responsibility. And in, in, in my institution, the institution that I'm working for, maybe in other companies, uh, they have uh, some recycling campaigns or something like this in order to uh, reuni reunite this, the, some things uh, on like, uh, all the stuff and something like this in order to uh, group these things uh, and, don't, and, and try to, you don't trash this, or you don't, uh, you don't throw these goods into trash and get this dispersed, dispersed out. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so uh, they uh, 
taking they take charge of this situation in order to 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 recycle these things and give them to a maybe a a contractor to who has a, a very very good way to treat these situations or these goods. I think uh, that, that those are uh, types of corporate social responsibility. Perfect, very good. Thank you, Juan Miguel. Yeah, everything that you said is included into that one. And um, there are, well, we are going to check, of course, many other things that will be involved in that one. But uh, yes, uh, I mean, is uh, is connected in many ways, just not only in the outcome, but also in the income and the way that we make profit in the company. Good. Uh, and uh, question, uh, do you believe that it's important to have a CSR program in companies? And of course, why? Yeah, uh, My point of view is that I agree with that uh, because they help to the society in some, I don't know, maybe in some, what, in some activities that maybe they do about, I don't know, that the society needs. And also, uh, as the video said, they are in a, a foundation. If not that they work to uh, always taking advantage because uh, those kind of system help to the company uh, as a profit. Okay. Very good, perfect. Yeah, I mean, the main objective of the company, of course, is to make some profit, but of course, it's a good idea to always try to help. I believe that maybe you or some relative, maybe at some time, you got benefited by some of these programs, like, like a, a device or a scholarship or things like that. So uh, definitely something that helps and you never forget, right? So that is a very good thing. Any other comment? Uh, do you believe it's important to have a uh, CSR program in the company? Okay, let's I think, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I think it's, uh, it is, uh, it's very important because uh, the companies um, are meant to um, de develop the community where uh, they operate, uh, not only um, have profit from them, right? They have to uh, get back something. Uh, and there is a lot of ways and I have a very, 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 very programs, and some, some are destined for women, for developing women, and other for elderly, and, and, and and child, I think. I I need to this it is very very good very good to see the how uh, the people can change uh, through these programs. Very good. Yes, actually, when you get benefit uh, by any of this program, of course, it's, it's a big impact for you and your life, right? So uh, it's something very good, actually, it's something very nice. Anyways, we're going to read a little bit more about this cor corporate social responsibility. Remember the pronunciation or the way that you can 
say this word is responsibility, right? Sometimes I have some people say responsibility, but that's Spanish, of course. So it should be responsibility. So this is uh, the reason we're gonna check says a self-regulating business model that helps a company be socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders and the public. So to be conscious about the um, actions you take. Remember that we were discussing about that word accountable uh, before in ethics. So it's something very good. So the first one, the first part is going to be for, uh, let's see, Jose Wilfredo, please help me with the first part. Okay, sure. What is corporate social responsibility? Uh, corporate social responsibility, CSR, is a self-regulating business model that helps a company be social, sociality, no, so, socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders, and the public by practicing, practicing corporate social responsibility. Also called corporate citizenship, companies can be cautious of the kind of impact they're having on all aspects of society, society, including society, society, society including economic, social, and environmental. The engagement, the engage is CSR means that in the ordinary course of business, a company is operating in ways that enhance society and the environment instead of contributing negatively to them. Okay, what did you get from this one? Um, well, well, uh, this is like the company maybe want to make an, make a, what could be make a, like make a favor to, to, to show to the, to the society and maybe uh, wants to be rec recognized that they help and they don't they don't want they don't they don't win anything about that if not that they win because they are recognized that they help to the to the society that's the the way that they have the the profit okay very well and uh -huh, go ahead go that, ahead sorry that's that well, to be honest that's it that okay. is why uh -huh. That, very well. that are the simple words. Nice, very good. So yeah, it's about to be conscious, right? Of the kind mm -hmm. of impact they are having in all aspects of society. So, of course, that includes the economic, the social, the environmental, anything that is going to be important for society. And of course, there are some industries that are going to be more accountable than other because, I mean, sometimes of the size, sometimes it depends on their what what is the like the kind of products that they are offering sometimes that they cause a, a bigger impact to society so they need to be accountable to this one yeah that's right okay it says key takeaways uh let's see juan miguel could you please read this part um okay Key takeaways, yeah? Yeah, please. Key takeaways. Corporate social responsibility is a business model by which companies make a concerted effort to operate in ways that enhance rather than degrade society and the environment. <clears throat> CSR helps both improve various aspects of society as well as promote a positive brand of brand image of companies. Corporate responsibility programs are also a great way to raise morale in the workplace. CSRs are often broken into four categories. 
environmental impacts, ethical responsibility, philo philanthropic, or philanthropic. Philanthropic. Uh, philanthropic endeavors and financial responsibilities. Some examples of companies that strive to be leaders in CSR include Starbucks and Ben and Jerry's. Okay, what do you get for this? Um, the essence of this, I think, is uh, okay. You have a company. You have um, you have the opportunity to back uh, to the society. <clears throat> Sorry, back to the society. Uh, um, maybe a a, a thing or a, a, a situation that. Uh, have an impact uh, in obviously in the society or in a group of the society, uh, like uh, the fourth bullet is talking about, there are four categories, environmental impacts, ethical responsibility, philanthropic endeavors and financial responsibilities. In the first one, uh, there are companies uh, uh, that has that have some programs about this, uh, but not just for the employee, but also for the family. Uh, for example, I know about um, banks that uh, they organize this kind of um, event that. Uh, Okay, you, we will have a, an event to release turtles, marine turtles, but it's for uh, the family. And this is a, maybe a sanctuary that is protected by, by the bank or by, the, by a group of employees. Uh, maybe in, in the other situations or in the other categories, uh, categories sorry. Um, uh, like uh, ethical responsibility, maybe could could be a uh, order your process from the very beginning until the end in order to to do not um, have a kind of bad situation or a or an abnormal situation. Uh, that puts in uh, in um, in danger uh, some employees, some process, uh, SIP. Um, I I don't know. Maybe this could be the the this kind of of example. The, this could be examples for this kind of categories. Um, and if you involve your employees, obviously uh, they will um, enjoy the moment. And this is good to raise the morale of the employees because there is a different situation, of, not just as not just in the office, but also maybe in the beach or maybe in other uh, site uh, for your which uh, the activities uh, happening will be happening. I, I think it's my mm -hmm. opinion. Yeah, actually this is like the, the core of social responsibility, right? So, and yeah, this is what we're going to be discussing this week. And uh, it's very important for first of all to check and understand what is this. I mean, the first po uh, point is actually very important. I mean, is where companies, they try to enhance, they try to improve rather than degrade society and the environment. So yeah, we're making a lot of profit. Some companies, they make a lot of profit. I was checking, for example, the quarter, the last quarter of Google, I cannot tell you the figures, but it was a lot of money only for Latin America. I mean, it's a monster. So whenever they have that kind of a lot of profit, of course, they try to give something to society. They try to give something, well, 
hopefully we're more with for the employees, but not that much. But anyway, sometimes, I mean, they give you something so that you can feel a, a little bit better. So they try to improve. So they, they feel responsible uh, because they are earning a lot of money and producing a lot of money. And they are, depending as I was telling you about the, the product they are giving to the society, sometimes they feel more responsible than other times. And we're gonna check about that one. Also um, promote a positive brand image of companies. That is something that companies, they really care. Whenever they do something that is nice, is good, they donate something, they create a program. There are a lot of pictures, right? There are a lot of, yeah, there is a lot of information on the media because they want everybody to know that they are social responsible, that they really care about the environment, society, people, employees. So they know that they are good. Uh, and that is because some companies, they have had a, a very bad image, right? Like evil, like, man, you just care about the money. And that's why we were also checking about in ethics, um, we were discussing why, why these people are like that. I mean, yeah, it's good to earn money. It's good to be a millionaire. But of course, you need to take care about your employees. Don't lie. Don't do something that is not correct. So they want to reflect a good image of the brand. Also, it's great to raise morale in the workplace. I mean, whenever you participate in a program that you're helping people, if you're an employee, you feel very, very good. You feel like, oh my goodness, I'm doing something here, right? And uh, the company that I, I am working with is nice. I, I, I feel proud to be part of this company. And so that is going to be very good. It's something that uh, all the companies are looking to do, to have with their employees. So that is very important. The four categories, we're going to check into those a little bit more uh, before, I mean, after this little thing and throughout the week, actually. And also we're going to check about some examples, some companies and what do they do? So, but it's very, very interesting. And then it says understanding corporate social responsibility. So uh, let's see, Danny, could you please help me with these two paragraphs? Understanding corporate social responsibility. Corporate social responsibility is a broad concept that can take many forms depending on the company and industry. Through CSR programs, philanthropy, and volunteers for businesses can benefit social while boosting their bands. For a company to be socially respons responsible, responsible, it first needs to be accountable to itself and its shareholders. Companies that adopt CS CSR programs are often grown their business to, to the point where they can give back to, to society. Thus, CSR is typically a strategy that's implemented by large, by, by large corporations. After all, the more vis visible and successful a corporation is, the more responsibility it has to set standards of ethical behavior for its peers competitions peers, competi competition, and industry. Good. What did you get from this? Well, this is um, that we can see from the, the biggest company. And the biggest company has uh, the, big, the, big, the biggest program for social responsibility. And here in El Salvador, there is some kind of program that, um, that company for the USA is helping through USAID or something like that, that, that uh, help uh, through this, this way. Um, 
but uh, say that the, the paragraph it say also that uh, the company has to be accountable uh, for the first time in for their shareholders uh, and because <laughs> um, if you if you uh, pay their dividends or something like that and after you you're going to have the 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 resources to benefit the society, right? Obviously, um, is the, the, biggest, the biggest company are called to give the example to the other company, um, to, um, whether it's uh, it competition or, or not, or just another industry. Okay, very good, thank you. So yes, I mean, this is something that a lot of companies uh, really take care of. And it is very interesting what it says, right? Um, the more uh, successful is a company, the more responsibility it has. So they can give something to society. And also they, uh, sometimes they together set uh, what it will be the social responsibility for a whole industry. So that happens sometimes, right? Very good. So it says fast fact, small and mid-sized businesses also create social responsibility programs, although uh, their initiatives are rarely as well publicized as those of larger corporations. So that the company uh, is, if the company is small, it doesn't mean that they cannot have a, a very good program with this one. Maybe the impact is not that much and maybe it's not on the news. I mean, it's not always there, but yeah, they are doing their best, right? So types of corporate social responsibility. In general, there are four main types of corporate social responsibility. The company may choose to engage in any of these separately and lack of involvement in one area does not necessarily exclude the company from being socially responsible. So the first one is this environmental responsibility. That is going to be for Jose Rivas. Not possible. Uh, Ramon, is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, Anna Claudia. Of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Environmental responsibility. You say, right? Civil. Yeah. Okay. okay. Environmental responsibility is the pillar? Or pillar? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is a pillar, actually. Okay. The environmental responsibility is the pillar of corporate social responsibility. responsibility. <laughs> I'm fighting with my mom because always <laughs> I've been saying responsibility. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay. So, so uh, let, me, let me start over. Okay. Environmental responsibility is the pillar of corporate social responsibility root in preserving modern nature. So optimal operations and support of related causes. A company can ensure it leaves natural resources better than before its operations. Companies often pursue environmental stewardship though. Mm. Reducing pollution, waste, natural resource consumption and emissions through its manufacturing process, recycling goods and materials through, throughout, no, I don't throughout. remember. Throughout, okay. Throughout these processes, including promoting reuse practices with its customer, offsetting negative impacts by replenishing natural resources or supporting causes that can help neutralize the company's impact. For example, a manufacturer that the forestries may commit to planting the same amount or more. Distributing goods consistently by choosing methods that have the least impact on emissions and pollutions. 
creating product lines that enhance these values. For example, a company that offer a gas low nowhere may design an electric low nowhere. I don't know what the nowhere is. I'm going to look for it. Uh, lawn mower is like these machines that cut uh, cut off the lawn, you know, like the grass in the garden, things that are growing in the garden. Uh, no. And the mower is the machines that cuts off that one. Okay, okay. Good. So what did you get from this one, the first one? I think that this is the most the companies take advantage or they want, they take the, the, the flag, let's say it in that way. For example, once... Uh, while I was reading, I was thinking in responsibility in all these companies uh, of beverage, for example, La Constancia, Coca-Cola. Uh, they say they handle most uh, glass instead of plastic, but the reality shows that there is more plastic bottle in the market than, than glass. They supposedly create all these campaigns of recollection i don't know if it's correct to use that word yeah to to recycle and reuse supposedly supposedly those bottles we don't know if it really it is in that case but uh, they are they are um, making at least one step above uh, while using plastic that they are not only for one use, that they, they can be recycled. And I think nowadays, most of the companies, they, they uh, up, I don't know if it's good to say they up or head up this flag, they, uh, oh, well, they up <laughs> with okay. they, they salute with this flag. Let's say it in that way. Flag, okay. Uh -huh. They salute with this flag because they want to be known as good companies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm thinking also in companies uh, that they manufacture cigarettes or tobacco. Uh, they know they are causing an impact in the human being, and is is true. That nobody is with a gun pointing on you, making you to smoke. But the issue is that the affected are not the only ones smoking. Uh, the affected are all of us around the ones smoking, and and that is a big a big issue. So they're trying to to uh, create. They are creating like a campaign with some ugly pictures in every uh, in every box of these cigarettes but people doesn't understand people they don't understand those type of message they i don't know if uh, i understand this create like uh, uh i don't know how to say this you vice vice ah, okay this create like a vice and as far as I know, it's something that is implanted on your brain and you cannot leave it. That is what people that smoke says. And that is what uh -huh. they say. Um, but I think this, when the companies take this flag of environmental responsibility, not all the time is true because they are making a big campaign, a marketing campaign in order to be known as something they're doing, but also when they make these programs, I understand, for example, if they help uh, an ONG or a foundation or a society that is not profit, with is not a nonprofit foundation, they, are asking or requesting like an invoice or something to show in at the end of the year for taxes deduction yeah. so at the end it's not so true that they want to do something because of the society at the end they are always looking for their own uh, purposes their own business that that is what i believe i don't know if there are companies that really or truly they uh, make this uh, environmental responsibility responsibility as a truly policy or culture in their company. I don't know. 
Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Yes, actually that is something that happens a lot. It's, um, I mean, uh, companies, they take advantage that they uh, can reduce taxes or they can get some taxes back depending on the country and depending on mm -hmm. the kind of industry. Uh, so they try to take advantage on on this by doing this kind of activities, right? And they, mm -hmm. yeah, that is that is not good, of course. I mean, that is kind of mm -hmm. evil, right? When they- Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they say, we did this because we are so good, but we want you to give us back the money. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it, it's not good. And you are right. Some company, they said some companies, they really don't care much about people or they just care but not that much they care more about this kind of um, the return the return of investment they will get mm -hmm. exactly. and you know sometimes i mean you are so right i used to work for a bank i won't say the name and mm -hmm. uh, uh, well what happened is that uh, they used to have some meetings and trainings for all the employees in central america in mm -hmm. europe we had to mm -hmm. go to Germany, to France. Uh, it was, I mean, they paid for everything, for the mm -hmm. plane, they pay for uh, the hotel, of course, for the uh, for the meeting with the presentator or for mm -hmm. everything that they have to, food. Mm -hmm. And at night, sometimes we had to go out. And I mean, there were some, some places that we can go and visit museums and mm -hmm. things like that, and they pay for everything. Mm -hmm. The thing is that, I mean, we felt very good employees. We were happy and they were saying, well, we have this program that we send people there and here. And so amazing. But since I was part of the core information department, I knew that, for example, they used to have, I mean, they present those expenses in El Salvador mm -hmm. and uh, they, received a lot of taxes back because of that one. Um, I mean, because it was lot. part of education. It was part of education, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not only that, uh, the thing is that they also presented those uh, expenses in their uh, headquarters in Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and they also received money from the German uh, My goodness. government. <laughs> So it was a double thing. It was like mm -hmm. a business, right? Mm -hmm. It was like, it was, they, yeah, they really care that we knew that we uh, get prepared. You have for fun in some way. Yeah, but at the end, we mm -hmm. knew, uh, just a few people, mm -hmm. we knew that uh, it was because of the money. Right? It was a business. Mm -hmm. They received money. And I guess and the, the, the more people they send, they will be getting more money in return as a return of investment. <laughs> that it. So they, they had like two businesses, right? The bank with everything that worked here and also that one that was like mm -hmm. uh, the academy. And well, the thing is that they, uh, I mean, I mean, people are like that sometimes. Uh, all the people or that were training us it, it were part of the bank. So they received salaries and things. That, I mean, mm -hmm. it was it was crazy. Mm -hmm. and, uh... mm -hmm. You know, a, one uh, a, a social responsibility, I think, is I, I believe it's true, and and I uh, I prove it. Let's say in that way, mm -hmm. is this type of classes where we're having right now because I'm not paying anything, and I'm part of this course because my company is part of this uh, in support thing right i don't know how they work but at the end i uh, i was uh, telling uh, a few moments ago to to jose wilfredo we okay. work in the same company that at the end the we are uh, the uh, i don't know how to say this beneficiaries uh, beneficiaries Ah, okay, we are beneficiaries because we apply what we learn on a daily basis. Uh, in my case, uh, if I remember how I started last year uh, when I started these courses, uh, my God, and how I feel today, I feel comfortable negotiating with people in English. And, and, and that is... Uh, because I know what words I'm talking about in the past. And I can tell you for some years ago, I just was like kind of repeating some phrases that they sound good, but I didn't know if they were 
uh, apply it in the right moment or with the right person. And now, yes, I can defend myself and I don't need to copy any sentence for, for somebody. And, and I was uh, saying exactly that word to Jose Alfredo that we are the beneficiaries for for this type of courses because we apply it and we see the improvement in our job. Okay, that is very nice. I mean, because uh, that's the main of this thing and we learn, we are able to analyze things in different ways and mm -hmm. that is very, very good. I mean, um, yeah, at the end, uh, if people learn, that is fine. Yeah, uh, or, uh, or there are people that are beneficiaries from this kind of uh, programs is amazing, right? Um, mm -hmm. sadly, sometimes, as you say, is, uh, is there is something beyond that one. So it shouldn't mm -hmm. be that way. As far as I know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not <laughs> <laughs> and just keep going, continue studying. <laughs> Definitely. That's what we're like that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Very well. So we're going to do a little, uh, pause and then we're going to check the attendance and then we will continue learning about social responsibility. So let's see how it goes. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Perfect, thank you. And Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Sorry. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Sonia. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good, perfect. Okay, so we will continue learning a little bit more about this one. So let me just check here. Okay. Okay, and uh, here we are. Okay, so the next one is ethical responsibility. And that is going to be, let me check, for Sonia Benitez. Okay, teacher. Uh, ethical responsibility is the pillar of corporation social responsibility rooted in ethic. If at, excuse me? Rooted. rooted. Rooted, rooted in active in a file, ethical manner. Companies often set their own oh. standard, oh, oh, standards. Uh, so external forces of demand uh, by clean by clients Client. uh, may clients may chap. Shape. Ethical goals, shape ethical goals. Instance of ethical uh, responsibility, including responsibility, responsibil responsibility, 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 <laughs> include. <laughs> okay, uh, fair training across. All types of customers, regard, regard, regardless of age, um, 
race, race culture, or sexual orientation. 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 Positive training. Positive. Of positive. Positive training of all employees, including favorable, 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 pay, favorable, pay and benefits in excess of mandated minimums. Man mandated minimums. Uh -huh. Mandated minimums. This includes uh, fair employment consideration. Uh, for all individuals, regardless, 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 regardless of personal difference, is expansion of vendor use to uh, utilize different utilize utilize different suppliers of different race, genders veteran status or uh, economy statuses. Honest a disclosure of operation, operation operating, Oper operating, operating, operating concerns to invest investors in a time, a time line, time and, rest, a time, and respect to a uh, manner. Manner, huh? uh, so no always mandated, mandated. a company mandate a company uh, may chose may chose to may to manage its rela relation with external stakeholders beyond uh, what is legally required required required. Good. What did you get from this? Okay. Um, it's uh, uh, about uh, your cult culture, culture the um, uh, culture about ethical responsibility. What um, or that that uh, the companies uh, about. Um, uh, the the general the general uh, the different uh, employees uh, or the person in the company for example um, la the the races gender or incluye a different the, the general or preference the the person I think um, about in for example in inversion uh, in the medio medio ambiente and environmental. Uh, in me, is what? Well, how do you yeah. say? This is the word. Let, uh -huh. let me show you this. Environmental. Uh -huh. Okay. In environment. The environment. Okay. Environment. Environment. Uh -huh. environment. In maybe in also uh, companies uh, have. Have project uh, uh, about uh, sobre about in the the, the different culture uh, or the of of no bite a uh, hell uh, the in community. I I think. Okay, perfect. Yeah, actually, this is uh, linked to the previous topic that we were checking out, right? So ethical responsibility, meaning that companies, they try to get uh, people, regardless of the age, the race, 
culture, sexual orientation. Maybe here in El Salvador, race, I mean, is no big deal because we are whole Salvadorian, right? So, uh, but in other countries, it's a little bit difficult about that one and about culture. So they try to include uh, all kind of people. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, what matters is uh, if you have the skills for you to be part of the company. So that is ethical responsibility, not only to hire them, but also to, to keep um, an environment uh, inside of the company that is going to be healthy and good for everybody. So it should be that way, but sometimes, yeah, it can take a little bit more than just code of conduct or anything like that. Good philanthropic responsibility that is going to be for Roxana. Okay. <clears throat> philanthropic responsibility. Uh, is the pillar of corporate social responsibility that challenge, challenges who a company acts and how it contributes to society. In this simplest form, philanthropic responsibility refers to how a company spends its resource to make the world a better place. This includes <clears throat> sorry, whether a company don donates, mm -hmm. donates profit to charity. Char chari charities. Thank yeah. you. The charities of cows, it believes it, it believes it. Whether a company only enters into transaction with suppliers or vendors that aliens align. Align, align, thank you. That align with the company philanthrop philanthrop philanthropically. Okay, philanthropically. <laughs> philanthropically, thank you. Whether a company supports em employees, philanthropic, and the in the endeavor in endeavors. The, uh, endeavors through time of or matching contributions. Whether a company sponsors fundraising. Fundraising. Events or fundraising, fundraising, fundraising. Yeah. Thank you. A sponsor fundraising events or has a percent presence in the community for related events. Good. So, what did you get from this? Uh, well, um, let me see. Mm, the main idea is um, here, uh, philanthropic uh, responsibility refers to how a company spends it, its resource to make the world a better place. And uh, it mentioned uh, examples uh, like, or like, um, prepare some alternatives, uh, for example, when, uh, I don't know if it's uh, only for the, for the end of the year, but uh, some companies try to uh, give some alternatives for Teleton here yeah. in El Salvador. And then uh, it's like, um, Mm, how do you say that? Mm, maybe in that case, the company try to uh, give um, better uh, brand about uh, the company, but always uh, they receive a refund when they do something like that. So maybe is give to, es como dar y recibir. Give and get. Something like, give and get, yeah, thank you. Uh, or something like that. So 
The thing is that uh, some companies try to contribute with uh, social um, uh, situation and try to uh, sell a better uh, brand. So they always receive, they help good, um, maybe good project, but they always are looking for um, benefits. So uh, for me, it's like that. And the other, uh, let me see. Mm. Maybe the other one uh, say that uh, the company always try to uh, prepare some events to recollect some fountain and, and try to um, spend that founts in a um, social project, maybe. Uh, Don Bosco University, I don't know if they continue with that project, mm -hmm. but I remember that in the past, they was a building a, a house for a poor a families. Uh, I don't remember the name of the project, but uh, in general, some companies um, contribute in that project, so it's another it's another way to uh, help to the society. But uh, you always you are uh, selling your brand. Is I think that uh, this topic uh, is about both. So how can help the others projects or the others. Uh, person in a society, but always has a company um, looking for a benefit, found or sell a brand or something like that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, actually you're right. Sometimes, I mean, they, they uh, get some benefit from this kind of situation. So they are on the media, on the newspaper saying, okay, mm -hmm. we are going to support this cows or this company or this organization so they can continue and uh, they that helps their image and also the tax of things of course as we discussed and then uh, philanthropic responsibility is about uh, that exactly so the most of the time is to donate mm -hmm. to charities or to provide time for example the employees or the whole uh, company they go and do something for people right uh, another is like uh, they uh, only contribute they only purchase they only do business with other companies they have kind of the similar values i mean if you support uh, multicultural uh, businesses i'm going to support you right so and that happens a lot for example and that happens in all the media for example um you know the uh, the streaming companies, for example, the um, mm -hmm. companies that they make movies, if one actor or actress, they do have mm -hmm. some behavior that is not correct, mm -hmm. they say, I'm sorry, right? So you cannot continue with this project because I mean, your behavior is going to damage the image of the company is not mm -hmm. aligned with the values that we have. So that happens a lot. Cool that will be like this part of the philanthropic um, responsibility. And but sometimes I think that company uh, maybe take a take, talk uh, advantage because, uh, well, I remember uh, I was a, a friend, uh, he was working in a bank and that in that case, uh, they present a alternative in, uh, in the Teleton, yeah, in, yeah. in Teleton. And uh, after that, he was talking with me about that situation. And she was uh, showing that in the company, they did a collect 
uh, in all the uh, company, you know, with uh, every person. But at the end, the, the company present that alternative has a, it's como que si fuera solo de la compañía. In the if, name of the company. Yeah, in the name of the company. And the rest of the employees felt like um, uncomfortable about that because uh, they was contributing with that uh, project, but the company did not, rec re not recognize, yeah, did not recognize. Okay. Yeah, did not recognize. Did not recognize. Yeah, and it, it, he told me that he was very uncomfortable. So I was telling that maybe the company always uh, try to help uh, some good project, but always they are looking for a benefit. In that case, it was complex because it's it not only no it wasn't only the own money so it was the money of the employees and the company so it was too complex yeah actually that is not good of course i mean um i never see teleton but i have seen that sometimes uh, they said this is on behalf of the employees of the company, not in the name of the company, but on behalf of the employees. So that is correct to say that one, right? And uh, yeah, if companies do that, like for public things, maybe it's not that good. At least that situation is not good. So it's not ethical and this is about ethics, right? So Yes. Okay, very good. So let's check about financial responsibility. And uh, Yvonne, could you please help us with this? Not possible. Okay, let's see. Uh, who hasn't read? Maria Alejandra. Yeah, okay. Financial responsibility. Financial responsibility. 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 Um, responsibility. Financial <laughs> 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 is the pillar of corporate social responsibility that ties together the three areas above. A company may plans to be more um, environmentally, 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 ethically, and philanthro philanthro philanthropically, <laughs> philanthropically, philanthropically focused. However, the company must back these plans through financial investments of programs, donation or product research. This includes spending on research, uh, research and development for new products that encourage sustain, sustainability. 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 Sustain. <laughs> yeah, they, Sustain. They I will tell you uh, something. Okay. The key on these words is to understand that these are two words in one. So the first one is sustain. Uh, sustain uh, ability. Uh, sustain ability. <laughs> <laughs> Recruiting different types of talent to ensure diversity is work for in, in, in activities, in initiatives. Uh, initiatives that train employees um DEA, social awareness of environmental concern, progress that might be more expensive, but yield grades, CFR, results, 
and during trans, transparent and time and timely financial reporting include external audit. Uh, yes, the part that says important. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Important. Some cooperative social responsibility models replace financial financial responsibilities with a sense of volumet volumetism. Volunteerism. Uh, volunteering otherwise otherwise most, otherwise otherwise most models still include environmental ethical and philanthropic and type or csr very well perfect so now what did you get from this one <laughs> um Maybe for the company, it is uh, important to the, have a, a troop or uh, maybe let's say that credibility. Uh, credibility, you can say. Uh -huh, credibility and try to focus in uh, the, uh, the other pillar is, uh, that says um, previous. Uh, for example, that philanthropicality. Philanthropicality, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ethnically, or like, mm -hmm. and I think that is important that when participate in different programs and donations, or that uh, only give a person uh, to. Uh, to for the different uh, events or activities that try to uh, help for that cause mm -hmm. and they may be uh, is part of the development for that this area in that try to the the other person Reconcise that the company and see that is um is stable or stable. Stable, yeah. Uh, stable and this part of for the company and or all the documents stay in order. For example, when make a external audits or at internal and give a different uh, comments or like this and, and the companies try to uh, make better for that the next audit or like this. Okay, very good, perfect. So, uh, well, actually uh, it says there in the paragraph, right? This is tied uh, to the other three areas. Why? Because whenever you are going to donate or if you are going to include a program to uh, train people or volunteerisms or anything like that, you need to have a budget. You need to allocate some money for you to run these programs, right? So sometimes also includes that one uh, in the way that you develop your products. That means that sometimes even when it's a little bit more expensive, you are going to include things that are uh, friendly environmentally. So, for example, or that is going to help people in other areas, things like that. So, um, this is something like uh, from the point of view of the of the money, right? So, whenever or whatsoever I want to implement, uh, you need to allocate some money for that one. So, that will be it. Okay, benefits of corporate social responsibility. Uh, Fernando, could you please help me with the first paragraph? Sure, teacher. Benefits of corporate social responsibility. As important as CS CSR. What yep. means CSR? Corporate social responsibility. Ah, right. <laughs> it's okay. As important as CSR is for the community. <clears throat> Sorry. It is equally valuable for a company. CSR activities can help forge 
a stronger bond between employees and corporation, boost morale, and aid both employees and employers in feeling more connected to the world around them. Aside from the positive impact to the planet, here are some additional reasons businesses pursue corporate social responsibility. Okay, so the introduction, what do you understand on this one? Uh, it's, uh, I don't have the word, um, lasso. I'm sorry? Um, a connection between the, the, the company and the police. Okay. Um, uh, um, social responsibility. It's a connection because when, sorry, give me a second. Okay, it's a connection because, sorry. Don't worry. Sorry, I have a problem with my, my throat. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Take, you can take time for you to drink water or something. Okay, I I, I need some minutes. I really don't worry. Definitely, yeah, don't worry. So, of course, there are benefits, right, for corporate social responsibility for everybody. So this is the beauty of this, that if companies, they really do this in a good way, the company itself, employees, uh, customers, and also uh, people in general society can get some benefits from this one. Right? So, and that's what it says, boost morale. It, both employees and employees and failing for more connected to the world. So it's going to be a very good thing. And we're going to check in detail about some of those benefits. So Marcus, could you please help us and read uh, the next one? Yeah, the first one actually. Okay, brand recognition. Yeah. Okay. According to a study published in the Journal of Consumer Psychology, Consumers are more likely to act powerfully towards a company that has act to the benefit to benefit its customers, as opposed to companies that have demonstrated an ability to deliver quality products. Customers are increasingly becoming more aware of the impact companies can have on their community, and many know based purchasing decision on the CSR aspect of a business. As a company engaged more in CSR, they are more likely to receive favorable brand recognition. Okay, what did you get from this one? Okay. Um, Okay, um, I understand that um, company can get brand recognition uh, by um, by um, I don't know um, by, by putting their all all their efforts to to make to deliver something that can benefit the customer and not just only cover a, a market. And so the customers now are aware of that and they um, put on the side of these companies that offer more than a product. But they offer a benefit, a real benefit. So it's important to to the um, the higher position in the company to take that in consideration because um, they can perform some strategy strategies in order to achieve that goal to um, put all the efforts and to benefit the customer. So they can gain more brand recognition and they can obtain more benefits, more profit, because they, 
the customers will choose that company instead of the other companies that doesn't that don't offer that benefit to the customer. Okay, very good. Yeah, actually, that is it, right? Whenever a company uh, do this kind of activities, any of these activities that we have discussed, uh, they are going to be recognized as a good brand, a friendly uh, environmentally or financial or philanthropic uh, company. So, and uh, you know that they really care about repu repu reputation. So that is going to be something very important for for companies and and then uh well a lot of people are going to are going to go to this kind of company that they believe that they are very good right so it's something that is going to at the end attract more people to the company so it's going to be something very good actually good investor relations Heidi could you please help me with this one sure teacher Investor relations. In a study by Boston Consulting Group, companies that are considered leaders in environmental, social, or governance matters had an 11% valuation premium over their competitors. For companies looking to get an edge and outperform the market, enacting C as a strategy tends to posi positively impact how investors feel about an organization and how they view the worth of the company. Good, what did you get from this? Mm -hmm. Which means that, that these companies that are considered leaders on, on, on environmental, social governance, they're more attractive to investors because they, they transmit uh, more confidence in the invest. Mm -hmm. So that is true. I mean, uh, if a company looks like very good, very nice, it's like people, right? When you see a person, when you know, know a person that it looks like a very nice person that helps everybody, that is very nice, that is uh, working, hardworking, you trust that person. So the same happens with companies. So when the companies, they uh, donate, they create programs for helping other people outside of the company or things like that, the investors look at that very nice. They say, oh, we can put more money into this company. So, because they are going to grow, they are very nice. They really care about the planet, so many things. So, uh -huh. they, and, and at the same time, they feel they are helping in an indirect way. So that is it, yeah, because uh, they want to invest and get more money, but of course they want to help, right? So. Is a good benefit. Good employee engagement. That is going to be for, let me just check. Francisco. Hello, teacher. Uh, yes, could you please help us reading with employee engagement? Okay, teacher. Employee engagement in yet another study by professional from Texas A&M, Chilton, and the University of Minnesota, it will found that CSR related values that align firms and employees serve as non-financial job benefits that strengths employee retention, work are more likely to speak from a company that they believe in, uh, sorry, that they believe in. This is, this in turn reduce employee turnover. This run clip workers and the total cost of a new employee. Good, what do you get from this? Uh, yeah, I understand uh, that the, uh, a uh, company have a good program for CSR. Uh, it, um, uh, from this study, say the uh, this employees uh, 
have a, a more uh, strong relation with the company. Uh, I think it's probably but the uh, the people uh, or the employees understand that the company is more human. is is not uh, just a place from just make big make money. Uh, it is uh, it's probably that the, the employees see the company. Uh, uh, like uh, a family or 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 like a community, and in these uh, values, uh, uh, the employees uh, uh, look look uh, well in, in for is the the reason that uh, they have uh, stayed more time in this company. I understand that issue. Very good. So that is it. I mean, when you feel very good, when you feel that the company cares not only about you and also about the planet or the society, I mean, you really believe in the company. You want to stay there. So you say, oh, this is good. I mean, I feel very nice here and we are able to help people. So definitely employees are going to be engaged and stay a little bit more, right? Good. So let's see, the next one is going to be for Juan Miguel Brand. Sorry, Mitchell, sorry, sorry. Are I'm you here. able to? Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Okay. About risk mitigation. Consider adverse activities such as discrimination against employee groups, disregard for natural resources or unethical use of company funds. This type of, of activity is more likely to lead with, to lead to lawsuit, lawsuits, litigation, or legal proceedings where the company may be negatively negatively impacted financially and be captured in headline news by adhering to CSR practices, companies, oh, sorry, companies can mitigate risk by avoiding troubling situations and complying with favorable activities. Fast fact. CSR strategies may be difficult to strategically assess because not all benefits, all benefits may be financially translatable back to the company. For example, it might be very difficult to assess the positive impact to a company's brand image that planting one million trees may have. Okay, so what do you get from this? Uh, in this case, they are talking about uh, how to treat uh, adverse situations. Okay, uh, I, I, I that was I understood. Um, in this case, punctually, uh, they're talking about risk mitigation and but how how you how the company may treat this situation may, uh, uh, yeah, may treat this situation, uh, but some things, or so sometimes it's a uh, most likely to, to deal with it um, with lawyers, yeah? You know, with lawyers or, or a personal which, which is related to, to laws and, uh, something like this. Um, uh, at, at the end of this paragraph, they say that a uh, one uh, uh, or the or the main uh, thing that you have that you must not that you should may that you should do is try to avoid the situations that might compromise your company. 
um, maybe not di directly from uh, customers buying uh, your goods, but uh, for example, uh, all, um, all the other companies that are in the same uh, um, in the same category of uh, maybe factories or something like this could be a, or could have an advantage about it. So uh, try to not uh, do bad things or good things that looks bad at the end or uh, bad things that you try to look good. Uh, I, I think. Okay, very good. So yes, actually, if you, uh, this is a benefit because it's, I mean, risk mitigation means that you are going to decrease uh, any risk that you might have at the end. So if you, for example, have a program that includes anybody that you are not going to be racist or you're going to have multicultural people, it doesn't matter the sexual orientation, then you are going to avoid any discrimination or any people saying that your company is like this or this other way. Or if you uh, share the funds and or help people with donations, uh, people are going to understand that you really have ethical standards. So then you will be able to to avoid this kind of situation, avoid this kind of problem. So that is a good benefit for this one. Good. So let's read about the ISO 26000. I'm gonna read this part for you. So uh, in 2010, the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, released ISO 26000, a set of voluntary standards meant to help companies implement corporate social responsibility. Unlike other ISO standards, ISO 26000 provides guidance rather than requirements because the nature of CSR is more qualitative than quantitative and its standards cannot be certified. ISO 26000 clarifies the social responsibility is and helps organizations translate CSR principles into practical actions. The standard is aimed at all types of organizations, regardless of their activity, size, or location. And because many key stakeholders from around the world contributed to developing ISO 26000, this standard represents an international consensus. First question for you, why, uh, do you know, have you ever heard about this ISO? standards what is that anybody maybe uh, it's a group of rules to um, doing something very good so yeah like a group of rules it's like a, well for first of all there is an organization that mm -hmm. is a global institution, right? This is something around the world. The name of that one is the International Organization for Standardization. So now the next question is, what is standardization? Um, this ISO, ISO is, um, like you say, it's an organization that create um like uh, they say the standards or good practices there is um there is um, um, if you do or if you apply the um, i don't know how to say norma or yeah the rules the yeah the rules or the, uh, the whatever you uh -huh. saw so, iso you are using uh, if you prove that you are applying this um your service or all your management system that you are um, applying or implementing uh, it could it will be um, very 
good or or even though you or even you can certificate if you implement this obviously you have to pay for for this but is no. this give you a good reputation and um, a reliable services or good practices or I don't know, these are very, a lot of benefits. Definitely, very good, perfect. Thank you for that one. That is it. I, I mean, this international organization, what they do is to create a standard. And a standard is like they analyze, they research, they uh, visualize, they create a set of like rules, a standards uh, for uh, any type of situations. I mean, they do a lot a lot of standards depending on the industry, depending on uh, the products that you are creating or the health or security, they create standards that some industries can apply. They can get certified in these um, standards and they um, put a number into the standards so you know which one is this about. There are many, many, many. And as you say, I mean, they create the standards, they create, um, like uh, normative for you to follow these steps for you to be certified and if you are certified on this one then the company they can show that certification that they can say oh we have this and this and this you can have more than one of course and then other people is going to say oh but you have done this one so you are a good company in this area because remember as we say these iso are different in different areas so this is one of the things that they have created. And then companies, they can get certified on this, which is going to be very good. Let's check a little bit more about that one. So uh, we're going to read about that one later on, actually, not today. So you can create, um, they created this uh, 26,000 ISO standard uh, for people or for companies that they would like to certify that they are social responsible, that they have a very good CSR program. Of course, as here it says that it's not possible to, to certify in, in quantity because it, this is a qualitative. So do you do this? What is the quality of this? What is the quality of your employees? Any other thing that they can about? So it's a very, very good thing uh, that companies can get, okay? Uh, any questions so far? No question. Okay, so the examples of corporate social responsibility is going to be for tomorrow. So, for first of all, then I want to ask you, uh, now that you know what is the CSR and uh, what is this about, do you believe it's important that companies, any company, have these kind of programs? What do Absolutely, you teacher. Absolutely. It becomes uh, not necessary, but something that uh, companies are practically bound to do. They must have this, this kind of, of programs. As it it's, explains itself, it's a responsibility. And when you got to a responsibility, you, have, you got to do it. Very good. So when you really care about society and also you care about your image as company and some other things uh, regarding the reputation and uh, investment and many other things, you really care about this part. So it's a crucial part. Uh, I mean, management of logistics and management of financial things is very important, but this is also very, very important, right? So in your companies, do you know if you have this kind of program? In yes, mine, there is. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, can yes. any, very good, nice. Can anybody, yes, and, uh -huh, go ahead. In, oh, excuse me. In our, in our case, in our case, um, exists, exists your company. Uh, campaña, how do you say campaña? Campaigns. Campaigns uh, about pick up 
flies of the beach in the uh, on project the project in this moment this moment in anuncios no 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 sería anuncio anuncio oh, how could you say anuncio advertisement uh, uh, excuse me advertisement uh, okay advertisement in the red red socials in the social media yes social media yes very good. So, and what do you do there in the company? What kind of pro, what they do on this program in the company? In the bank, in the bank. Okay. Uh, in the bank of um, Banco Promet. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. Actually, we're going to check about that later on. So what do you do in the, in the company? I want to show you something. Remember that uh, the word is not responsible. It's responsible. I'm here in the dictionary. And if you look for responsible, it's not going to be there. So that is Spanish. Of course, if you type responsible, that is going to be right. Um, that's the only thing that I wanted to show you. And sometimes there are many things that you can see here that are this about. So, that will be it. Okay, so we're gonna check the attendance of today and uh, let's see, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Good. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué Garcia Martinez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. The 101 is for Roberto. If he's here. I don't know. Uh, Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benitez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Sulema Ivonne. Present. 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 Good, perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See ya tomorrow and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Night. Hello, Ramon. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello.
Hello, are you here? 